Hi LEGO fans! Following up on the enormously successful 2018 wave of LEGO Harry Potter sets, LEGO just released two more brand new sets from the Wizarding World. I'll be reviewing set number 75952, Newt's Case of Magical Creatures, in a video coming up real soon. And today, I'm going to be unboxing, speed building, and reviewing set number 75951, Grindelwald's Escape from LEGO Fantastic Beasts. This is the smaller of the two sets with only 132 pieces and retails for about $20. It's based on the upcoming movie The Crimes of Grindelwald which comes out on November 16th. The 132 piece part count includes two minifigures, we've got the dark wizard Gellert Grindelwald and Madam President Serafina Pickery. We also get this rather freaky looking but very cool Thestral. The Thestral is there to pull Grindelwald's carriage as he tries to escape from Serafina. If you've seen the trailers for the new movie, you might recognise this carriage and the Thestral. Flipping over to the back of the box, we get a closer look at all of the lego -y goodness that comes inside. We've got the Dark Wizard Grindelwald's Thestral pulled carriage, and some really interesting spell shooting accessories. Serafina is holding a purple wand, which is a completely new colour. There's a removable roof for easy access to the interior of the carriage and the winged Thestral who I'm going to affectionately call Seabiscuit. I'm super excited to get this set built, so let's open up this box and see what we've got inside. Here's everything that came inside the box. We've got two bags of Lego, and a 42 page instruction booklet. I'm going to go ahead and build Grindelwald's escape, and today this is going to be a 60 second speed build! And here's the completed build. Now it's a great looking little set, but as you might expect with the 132 piece part count, there's not a great deal of work to do here, and the build time was about 13 minutes. The minifigures look great and come with shooting spell elements, which we're going to demonstrate later in the video. And I'm also a huge fan of Seabiscuit the Thestral. We're going to start out by taking a tour of Grindelwald's carriage, then take a look at the Thestral, and finish up with the two minifigures. This is Grindelwald's carriage and it's a pretty faithful recreation of a stagecoach. The wheels at the back are much bigger than the ones at the front and given that a minifigure stands on average about one and a half inches high, I would guess these are probably two inch diameter wheels. Both sides of the carriage have opening doors so that minifigures can get in and out easily. And as you'd expect with a normal carriage, there are convenient steps. The roof of the carriage is also removable just in case Grindelwald is entertaining guests. Inside the carriage is a plush red bench seat which looks like it'll fit two minifigures, but in reality you're only really going to get one in there. Each corner of the carriage is illuminated by a lantern made up of a clear transparent yellow piece and a gold round stud. At the rear we have a luggage rack or maybe some additional seating, but it looks like Grindelwald is travelling light. One detail I really like about this build is the use of black tubular grass pieces to construct the handrails. The same element is used at the front of the carriage where we also have a seat for the driver. It looks like this works pretty well for Grindelwald, but he can't quite grasp the bar correctly. Actually, with the use of a little manipulation, this does seem to work. Just like a real carriage, the front wheels are articulated to help it steer. And we have a convenient mounting point with which to attach the Thestral to the carriage. Here's a look at the Thestral without the wings, and this is described as horse number three in the parts catalogue. I'm pretty sure this is a brand new piece for this set. The wing assembly is made up of several elements and snaps into place in the void on the Thestral's back. Although for the most part the Thestral is unprinted, we do have some really nice detailing on the head. 
If you're not familiar with Thestrals, it would be a good idea for you to go check out Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. But in a nutshell, a Thestral is a breed of winged horse with a skeletal body, face with reptilian features, and wide leathery wings that resemble a bat. Thestrals are rare creatures and considered dangerous by the Ministry of Magic. They're also known as omens of misfortune and aggression by many wizards because they're visible only to those who've witnessed death. There are bars that run underneath the wings on either side of the Thestral, and these make it super easy to connect the Thestral to the carriage. The Thestral's wing assembly simply pushes into these lightsaber handles on the harness, and then it's simply a matter of snapping the wings into place. So that's Grindelwald's carriage and Thestral, and this is a very cool build. But before we wrap up, let's take a look at those minifigures. Being a relatively small 132 piece set, we only have two minifigures here. We've got the Dark Wizard Gellert Grindelwald and Madam President Serafina Pickery. So this is Gellert Grindelwald, who's considered to be one of the most powerful and dangerous Dark Wizards of all time. Until, of course, Tom Riddle came along. He was a student at Durmstrang, who you might remember from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. But he was expelled for twisted, dark experiments and near-fatal attacks on his fellow students. He was at one stage a friend with the young Albus Dumbledore. They were trying to find the Deathly Hallows, which you might remember from Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, but their friendship fell apart after a three-way duel with Dumbledore's brother Aberforth resulted in the death of Dumbledore's sister Ariana. Grindelwald is wearing a period costume consisting of grey pants with some overprinting there for the tails, and I really like the printing across the waistband there as well. He's got the big lapels and then a shirt underneath and a green vest. And it also looks like there's a tiny little bit of gold printing there. You can just see he's wearing a chain around his neck. That's really, really uh, very fine printing. And uh, great facial expression there. In fact, it looks very, very similar to the one we get on the reverse of Percival Graves, who came with the collectible minifigure series, uh, except he's got a little bit more open mouth there. Uh, I believe that's the same hair piece it is. And if we can see in his hands, he's clutching one of these kind of light brown ones. And then he's got one of these kind of flick elements here. This is a magical spell shooting element. And if we use the power of uh, clutch here and push that in, it should flick off. There we go. That's quite neat. And I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, around the back there, we've got a little bit more printing for the detail on the back of the jacket. And you can see some buttons there. And we do have a dual expression. We've got a um, an expression there with his mouth closed um, looks very very similar now i did think there might be a printing error here you can see the eyes are a little bit washed out but of course that's just grindelwald his eyes do look a little bit cloudy and i think um yeah lego have just kind of overprinted there to give him that appearance and that is a really nice grindelwald minifigure this very colourful and well-dressed witch is Serafina Pickery. She's the president of the Magical Congress of the United States, and she was born in Savannah, Georgia. She attended the Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and uh, I guess that's the American equivalent of Hogwarts. She looks very sharp here in this blue tailored suit. We've got this shaped piece at the bottom there for her robes. Love the way these curve. And then really nicely printed torso piece here with a very tailored suit on. Uh, love the little blue sash around the neck there. And just look at that purple wand. That's the first time I've seen one of those. Great together in this set. And she also has one of these magic shooty elements, which is Great fun. Now looking at the facial expression, this is a really nice print. Love the blonde curls down the front there. Very, very sharp printing. And then she's got this really nice hat on there. Love the sculpting detail in that hat. If we take that off, um, yeah, there's obviously no expression on the back there because you'd see it. But uh, really, really nice minifigure. That is Serafina Pickery, Madam President. So that was set number 75951, Grindelwald's Escape from the Fantastic Beasts theme of the LEGO Wizarding World Collection. This is a great little set and I really like the addition of the winged Thestral. The carriage is a pretty solid build and we get two great minifigures. So for the $20 price tag, I think this is about on the money. Being a big fan of Harry Potter and the Wizarding World in general, I'm really excited to see how this line of movies is going to play out. So far, to the best of my knowledge, LEGO haven't announced any more sets for Fantastic Beasts. But it would be really nice to see one or two more of these. 
We do of course have the big Hogwarts Castle set coming out soon which kind of dovetails into Newt Scamander and Albus Dumbledore but it would be really cool to have some more sets covering the wider theme. The Grindelwald minifigure does make this a very compelling buy but the must have feature for me in this set is the Thestral who shall forevermore be known as Seabiscuit. I really hope you enjoyed this LEGO Fantastic Beasts unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. And don't forget to check back in a few days for my review of 75952 Newt's Case of Magical Creatures. Thanks a million for checking out today's review, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video. Brick by brick, my citizens, brick by brick.